بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه. I'd like to uh, welcome you all to this uh, second lecture of uh, week 11 of uh, ICS 104. Uh, any uh, question before we proceed? Uh, yes, Dr. <coughs> uh, the quiz will be uh, on Monday, this week? Uh, yes, inshallah. Uh, unfortunately, I have uh, a conflict. I have major exam at the same time. How come? They just announced it. I, uh, we will we'll, we'll take that uh, uh, outside class, okay? Okay. Uh, send, send, me, send me an email. Okay. Like, any other question? Uh, doctor, is هل... موجود ال الافرج حق حق الميد تيرم يس اتس ان انا ما يطلع عندنا يطلع حق ال حق 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 البروجرام بس البروجرام يقدر يشوف الافرج اما الافرج العام حق الميد تيرم طيب اي ال 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 فيكس ذات ان شاء الله ال فيكس الاناونسمنت هو كان موجود لكن يمكن صار في شويه هذا خلاص ال 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 فيكس ان شاء الله هو انت سالت دكتور بالاناونسمنت موجود هي موجود لكن I'll, I'll, I'll also make it available في البلاك بورد اوكي دكتور في 64 صح؟ اوكي الافرج 64 والله I, I, I don't recall تمام اوكي طيب let me share the screen Okay, so basically what we did uh, uh, day before yesterday is we started talking about classes and objects. And today, inshallah, what we will do is uh, 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 we, we will uh, go deeper into uh, the concept of um, uh, an object in a class and we'll talk about instance uh, of a class and an instance of an object. Okay, so let's start with an instance of a class. Now, an instance of a class is an object of the class, okay? Is an object of the class. Just like, you know, when, when you assign a string to a variable, that variable uh, becomes an instance of the string class. That variable becomes an instance of the string class. In the same way, uh, when we assign um, uh, a variable to uh, an instance of uh, a class, or uh, basically uh, uh, to that class, uh, it, we create an uh, uh, an object of that class. Like, there is another thing which is called an instance variable. Now, what are instance variables? Well, an object stores its data in instance variables. So, uh, here, the variable is associated not with the class, the variable is associated with the object itself. The variable is associated with the object itself. That's why it is called an instance variable. So, for example, in our example, each counter object, which is an object of the uh, counter class, right, has a single instance variable named underscore value. Has a single instance variable named underscore value. For example, you know, assume that we have two, um, uh, two uh, instances of the class. One of them is called concert counter, and one of them is called boarding counter. So these are instances of the class, right? Like, now, these two objects from the counter class, each one of them has its own underscore value, okay? Has its own underscore value. So if you assume that, if you assume that this is, for example, the uh, the shape of, uh, you know, the um, uh, the concert uh, counter, uh, which is basically a reference, you know, to the counter, then you know this underscore value is associated with this variable, and this underscore value is associated with this variable, which is basically the boarding counter, and they are they are different. They are different. If you update one of them, does not affect the other. If you update one of them, it does not affect 
it does not affect uh, uh, it does not affect the other. So instance variables are part of the implementation details that should be hidden from the user of the class. So so the 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 the, the instance variables the instance variables uh, they should be hidden from you know other classes, even other objects, right? Uh, uh, dealing with them should be done through the public interface that we talked about day before yesterday, right? Now, with some programming languages, uh, an instance variable can only be accessed by the method of its own class, okay? By method of its own, of its own class. Now, Python does not enforce this. Python does not enforce this. This means that in Python, you can actually go and, you know, play with, you know, the, the, these parts that should be, should have been hidden. However, the underscore in the, in the variable name, the underscore in the variable name indicates to class users that they should not directly access uh, these variables because these are instance values. Okay, so now uh, in addition to the conventions, you know, that we have learned about uh, uh, for, for uh, uh, naming variables, now we have another convention for naming instance variables is that we usually use an underscore before the variable name. We usually use an underscore before the variable name uh, for the name of the um, uh, for the name of the instance instance variable. OK. Right. So so this was, um, uh, you know, instance objects and instance variables. So yeah. We, can, we also have something which is called class methods. We have something which is called class methods. The methods provided by the class are basically defined in the class body, are basically defined inside the class body. So for example, the click method advances the value of underscore value instance variable by one. Okay, so if, if we look at the uh, implementation of the um, uh, under uh, of, of the click, uh, we will see here that you know def click uh, self. We'll talk about self in in, in just a moment. Uh, then we have self dot underscore value is equal to self dot underscore value plus one. This definition here is defined inside the definition of the class. Inside the definition of of the class. So a method definition is very similar to a function, is very similar to a function with the following exception, with the following exception. First of all, a method is defined as part of the class definition. Here, it is as part of the class definition. It's not, you know, outside the class definition whereby anybody can, can call it from anywhere. The second one is that the first parameter variable of the method is, we, we call it here, self. We call it here self. Now, what does that uh, refer to? Well, this refers to uh, this being an instance uh, method, meaning a method that will be applied on the uh, uh, object itself. A method that is applied on the object itself. That's why that method accesses this instance variable, the underscore, the underscore value. Okay, right. So, so, so now, how the click method, uh, uh, so, so note how the click method increments the instance variable underscore value, right? Um, now, uh, let me go back, right? So now, how do I know, how do I know which instance variable? Which instance variable does the click method work on? How would I know that? Well, I know that through, you know, the object on which the method is invoked. Remember when we, for example, in the string, uh, in the string class, we had like uh, uh, a string dot, you know, is lower, huh? is lower. When you, when we say string dot is lower, the method is lower. Is applied on what? 
string. It is contained on the, in, inside the string. In the string that comes before it, صح? On the string yes. that comes before it. In exactly the same way, uh, this is how instance variables are active. So when we call the click, which is associated with the an object from the class, which underscore value will be updated? Well, the underscore value that will be updated is the one that is inside the object and on, on which I called the click. On which I called the click. So in the example below, uh, uh, the call to click advances the underscore value of the concert counter. If, if you look here, concert counter dot click. So now, how do I know which instance variable do I work with? Well, I look at, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, the variable which is before the dot. What is that variable? It's concert counter. So this means that I will go to the object of the constant uh, of the concert counter. I will go to the underscore value of that and I will increase it by one. OK. So as you can see here, um, no argument was provided when the click method was called, even though the definition uh, includes the self parameter variable. Remember in the definition that we gave about the click, there was self here, صح? but but here we did not provide we did not provide when, when we called the click. We do not provide any. Uh, uh, we, we did not provide any parameter. Now uh, the reason for that is that the self parameter variable refers to the object on which the method was invoked. It refers to the object on, on which the method was was invoked. So that's why there is no need to put it. That's why there is no need. There is no need to put it. Okay. So should we assume that uh, if it's empty, then it, it means it is self? Uh, uh, well, see, it's not like if it's empty, it means it's self. Uh, once you associate uh, the method with this variable, then you, with this object, then you know that you are working on, you know, instance variables of this object. OK, okay. Uh, the self was actually I mean, if you look here, uh, the self was actually to uh, to define, you know, that this method is actually working on the object. It's not working on the class. But we will not talk about class methods. OK, we, we will only concentrate on uh, uh, instance uh, methods or methods associated with objects. But, but this is just in the definition of the method. It just ex ex or, or says that, by the way, this method works on the object it doesn't work on the class it works on the object on the instance Wada, i hope you know when we see the examples inshallah it will be better okay uh, i know it might be a little bit uh, you know so, uh, vague vague now but inshallah so, when, when we see the examples inshallah it will be better uh, can you go back one slide please uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, the last line can i use click in between parentheses, the variable concept no. counter. No, oh, okay. no, it's it's a method. It's not a okay. it's not a function. It's a method. Yes. Very good. Uh, doctor. No. Um, sorry, I didn't get it all. But uh, the underscore value here is a built-in thing in the language, or what? And it's not built-in. It's it's a, a variable. Uh, I could have called it underscore my value. Or underscore current counter. I could have called it anything. It's a variable, a, 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 a variable name. Like an, I'm using the underscore to indicate that this is an instance variable, a variable associated with an object. Okay. So okay. it represents the, uh, the 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 value stored inside that variable. Exactly. It it, it represents the value. Uh, or it, it, it represents uh, the variable that is associated with uh, the object which is itself had, whether it was concert uh, counter or boarding counter or whatever uh, any other object. واضح. طيب. So so in a in a similar way, you know the get value, the get value uh, to basically get the current uh, value of the counter. Uh, again, I'm specifying here self uh, to mean that 
you know, this is an instance method. That this is an instance method. And then I will say return self dot underscore value. I will say return self dot underscore value. So which value is returned? Well, the underscore value associated with that object. The underscore value associated with that object. So this method is provided so that users of the counter class can find out how many times a particular counter has been clicked. How many times a particular counter has been has been clicked. Now, a class user should not directly access any instance variables. As a class user, you should not go and you know play with the underscore value. No, you should you should call these these methods. You know, get value, click. Let these methods access the instance variables. Do not try to access the instance variables uh, yourself. Although you can, although you can, but this is not good practice. And the reason why Python uh, uh, allows it is again we mentioned this maybe in, in in the first few lectures that Python does not care much about you know uh, efficiency, right? It, it's more about simplicity. Uh, that 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 was their their decision. Okay, right. So uh, uh, restricting access to instance variables is an essential part of is an essential part of encapsulation. Okay, is an essential part of encapsulation. So let's look at a complete example. Let us look at a complete example of a class, right? So so this module here defines the counter class. Uh, uh, models a tally counter whose value can be incremented, viewed, or or reset. So uh, here we have class counter, right? So this is the definition of the class. Now we will define the uh, the instance methods uh, in the class. Oops. Uh, 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 the the instance methods in the class. So uh, we have get value uh, self return self dot value. Uh, we have the click. Uh, we saw both of them, so, uh, 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 basically self dot underscore value equals self dot underscore value plus one, right? And then now we have uh, the reset uh, that resets the value of this counter to zero, right? So def reset self and then self dot underscore value equal equals zero. So so with this, uh, we basically uh, are finished with the definition of of uh, the class. As you can see, uh, uh, after I define the class, I give it a name and then I have the, the colon, which means that whatever comes after it is, is going to be indented and it will be the body of the class. So anything which is underneath uh, uh, this indentation is part of the class. Okay. If Doctor? you. If, no. Uh, sorry for interrupting. Um, yes. What if we named the counter one of the built in uh, classes like str and t uh, well you shouldn't do that will because we get other, an error uh, I, 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 you can you can try it um, uh, my guess you will not get an error but you will not uh, have the facilities of the string function okay so we of the string class yani you will you will you, you cannot define variables of, of the string class. You cannot uh, uh, if you do that. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether you know an error will be generated or not. Tema. OK. Sorry. Uh, so now so this is the definition of the class. Now here is where we use the class. OK, here where we use where we use the class. So uh, who's who's going to tell me what does this do? What is this going to do, yes, Shabab? Make tally uh, the class of counter. Link tally to the class of counter. La. Uh, hint, hint. Uh, think about when when you when you assign a string or an integer, and tell me what do you think is this? Assign the value zero, maybe. Not assign the value zero. Not assign, assign the, the value, value of tally to the counter. 
basically we are creating an object of type counter and we are we are references uh, referencing it through the variable tally we are referencing it through the variable tally واضح يا شباب yes clear yes okay طيب uh, then tally.reset what will this do it will Tally equal to zero. Tally equal to zero? No, the value of tally is zero. No, not the value of tally. The underscore value associated with that object is going to be equal to zero. So it's, it's, it's uh, now it's working with the counter, not with the tally. Now it's working with the underscore value. Of? Of the tally. The tally is the object here. The tally is the object. At this time, what is the value? Is there a value of tally? Uh, uh, it's uh, it's basically you know an object that has an uh, uh, an instance variable called underscore value. Okay. That's it, and uh, it is undefined. It is yes. undefined. Now, after I run tally dot reset, what will happen? I will assign the underscore value will be zero. The underscore value will be zero. The underscore value will be zero. Uh, doctor, okay. we assign now, the value to the object. Is that how we read it? We assign, we, we create an instance here. We create an instance of the class counter. And we reference it by tag. Yeah, I mean in the reset uh, method. Yeah, in the reset, we access the instance method, the instance variable underscore value, and we assign it to zero, which is associated with tally. Object tally. Which is associated. So let me run this. So after I run this, now, uh, what do you think will be printed? Yalla ya chabab, on, on the screen. Uh, look at this code. Look at this code. There are two print statements. Uh, tell me what is going to be printed. Two, three. <laughs> it's okay. Yalla, uh, so, so basically, you know, tally dot reset, click, click. And then when you get value, well, after two clicks, it should be two, right? And then we, we click again, uh, uh, get value, it should be it should be uh, it should give three so if you if you see here you know value to value three okay uh, any questions so far any questions so far so this is a very nice you know starting example on you know uh, how how do we you know build a, a class uh, or how do we design a class and then how do we use the class and then how do you use how do we use the class right what would happen if you did not call reset immediately after constructing the tally object? So assume that this was commented. We will be adding one to underscore value. Uh, it, is it, will be. it should be undefined. Huh? It should be yes. undefined. And in order to do that, in order to do that, let me reset the kernel. Uh, let me uh, restart and clear the output uh, because I'm afraid if I run it again, uh, it will. Uh, okay, let's just go back one. Okay. Come on. So so now we have this commented, صح? So let me run this. Oh, I, I could have run this again and it, it would have worked. And let me run this. Yes, because we did not no, we, no underscore value. We, we did not define it. This time we, we haven't assigned it anything. We haven't assigned it anything. So that's why it didn't work. Whereas if I remove the, uh, the comment and I, I do the uh, I, I run the program. Well, now when I call reset, خلاص, now my underscore value has been defined. 
it exists. صح? It exists. Before it did not exist. Before it did not, it did not exist. طيب. دكتور. آم. I'm having problem with the naming. What is the instance variable in this example? Uh, who can tell him what is the instance variable in this example? Uh, first of all, uh, you're talking about an instance variable, صح? Yes. So what is the instance variable in this example? Underscore value. Underscore value. What is the instance uh, of the class in this variable, in, in, in this program? Tally. Tally. It's very important, yeah, Shabab. If you understand the difference between an instance of a class and an instance of, a, of, of, of uh, an object, inshallah, things will be smooth uh, towards the end of this uh, part. Okay? Fine. So when you design a class, you start by specifying the public interface of the new class. Ish who will public interface of the new class. You know, all the methods that, uh, just like the click, the click, the reset, right? All these are the public uh, interface. So what tasks will this class perform? What methods will you need? What parameters will the methods need you, uh, uh, to receive? You know, to, 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 to do any of these tasks. Do you need any parameter? If you need any parameter, you can actually provide those parameters. You can actually provide those those parameters. So let's look at a cache register uh, uh, public interface. Okay. Basically, we want to use objects that simulate cache registers. Okay. So a cashier who rings up a sale presses a key to start the sale, then rings up each item. A display shows the amount owed as well as the total number of items purchased, as well as the total number of items. Purchase. So this is kind of what I would like to uh, solve, the problem that I would like to solve. Now, if I look at the tasks that are here that I need to uh, develop, well, first of all, I need to add the price of an item. So I need a method which is called add item, and I need to provide it with uh, a parameter, price, صح? when you when you enter the uh, uh, the price. Uh, I need to get the total amount owed, right? I need to get the total amount. After, you know, I finish uh, all my items, I need the total. Uh, I need to get the count of items purchased. For some reason, you know, I want to know whether I purchased, you know, 10 items, 5 items, 20 items, right? So I need a get count. And you see here, uh, uh, get total or get count do not have parameters. Why? Because they will refer to the self, to the uh, underscore value of the, uh, to the, uh, to the quote unquote underscore total. Uh, uh, we'll see what it will uh, refer to, صح? but it's basically get count. We, we are getting information that is, you know, private to the, to the object. That is private to the, to the object. So that's why we, we don't specify anything. We don't specify anything. Fine. Now, uh, the last one is clear the cash register for a new sale, which is basically clear. Uh, uh, this is basically to, uh, you know, uh, to receive another another customer, to receive another customer, uh, whatever total, whatever, you know, uh, uh, count that you had, uh, all this will be, all this will be uh, uh, reset. All this will be reset. Right. So as you can see here, since the self parameter is required for all methods, it was excluded for simplicity. It was excluded for simplicity. As long as this method is associated with the uh, uh, with the object, as long as this method is associated with the object, I know that my first uh, uh, parameter, when I define that method, has to be you know the self. Okay, has to be the self or whatever I refer to uh, 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 that refers to the object that I am in. That refers to the object that I am that I am in. Right. So this is uh, basically uh, uh, how we write, you know, the public interface. So we will we will start with the class cache register. Uh, by the way, do you notice that this is the first time that we are using the convention for user defined types? 
some of you made a mistake in the in the midterm. Uh, Should this be all caps? Uh, this is not a constant, Abu Shabab. This, this is, is a user, a user defined. This one. I wa user defined. So it will. It, uh, so each word starts with a capital letter. So it's not all letters are caps. La, uh, all letters are caps. Had a constant. Ah, oh, صح صح. 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 تمام. Okay. So this is the the definition of the uh, um, uh, of the class. And then we have, you know, uh, definition add item, and then we have self and then price. And inside we will have the method body, which is basically the, the, the declare. So, so basically this declaration here, this declaration is part of the public interface. This declaration is part of the public interface, right? Similarly, if we, if we do this, you know, uh, get total uh, self, this declaration is also part of the interface, which is basically to get the total, right? To get that, of course, if I want to implement it, I, I will do something like this, right? I will do something like, like this, right? So, so and then you, I, can, I can do that for, for the rest of the methods, you know, the clear method, um, uh, the, um, uh, the get count. Doctor? Oh, yes. Uh, do we need to put uh, both self and the parameter that we want in the definition of the function? Yes, because because uh, as long as the method works on the object, you need to have, you know, a first uh, argument that refers to the object. We are using self, by the way, self is not a keyword in Python. You could have used anything else, right? But it's, you know, by convention, they use self uh, to refer to the object itself, okay? So after defining the class, we can now construct an object uh, by saying, you know, you know, register one equal cache register. Register one equal cache. So this will create an object of type cache register. Uh, so so th the result of this statement is basically an object. Cache register, right? And I have the reference to it is called register one. I have the reference to it called register one. Fine. Right. Now that an object has been constructed, we are ready to invoke a method. So if I do something like this, you know, register one dot item uh, 1.95, what does that do? Well, supposedly it should add an item with this price, with this price uh, to, you know, the, uh, 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 to, uh, to the object, which is basically register one, to the object, which is basically register one. So each object of a class, uh, for example, here register one. Now I have my item count is equal to one, right? And I have the total price to be equal to 1.95. My total price to be equal to 1.95. Anybody can, can think of what is missing uh, 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 after these two steps, register one. Uh, there is something missing, Tara. Defining the value of register one. Defining the value of register one. يعني الربط مش مش the value of register one. Ah, the value of no. the instance variable. The instance value. variable. The clear. The clear, صح? لأنه the clear will will make the item count zero with total price zero, صح? I need to define. I I, I need to 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 to. I I should have you know called the clear before I started you know using. Anyway. So, so this uh, uh, item count, you know, one total price, 1.95, and I can continue with this, with this object. Right. What if I create another instance of the class cache register and I store it in register two? So this will have its own copy. This will have its own copy, right? And the, 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 the instance, when I run register two dot something, it will have access to these instance variables. If I do register one dot something, it will have access to these uh, uh, instance values. Wadah, Shabab. Okay, so let's talk about. Yes. So if I'm interrupting, if I 
write just one dot then the uh, method two times okay. each one in a line is the, and the second line is the is it going to be updated or yeah uh, yeah just like just like we know when we did the click when we said dot click the first time it increased it by one when mm -hmm. we call dot click another time it it was increased by two so huh? so what's the implementation for this uh, for having register one, register two. Uh, we will see that, inshallah. Okay. We will see that. So let's let's uh, first talk about constructors. You know, now wh what are constructor? A constructor is a method that initializes instance variables of an object. Okay. A constructor is a method that initializes instance variables of an object. Uh, it is automatically called when an object is created. The constructor is automatically called when an object is is created the, see see here we are going to do quote unquote the clear here we are going to do the clear صح? so that whenever i create uh, an instance uh, uh, of the class uh, all my instance variables uh, should should be prepared so where do i do that i do that in the constructor i do that in the constructor now python uses the special name underscore underscore init underscore underscore to define the constructor so this is uh, uh, you know uh, a, a specific type of uh, a constructor and this uh, th this is kind of a keyword I mean, you ha you have to use this okay underscore underscore init underscore underscore okay so so let's look at the constructor here so uh, uh, define underscore underscore init underscore underscore self Again, we need the self because this is associated with the object. So this is associated with the object. Now look at what happens. Self dot underscore item count equals zero. Self dot underscore total price equals zero. Okay. Right. Now, um, uh, okay. So, so any question about the? So, so this this will be. Uh, uh, let me see whether you are with me. ولا مع الأسف. Uh, when is this called? The clear. After the uh, after you assign an object. Uh, after you assign from, once from the class. Once you assign uh, uh, a variable, uh, an instance of that class, uh, this method is basically run. This method is basically called. Okay, by default. By by default. Okay. So only one constructor can be defined per class, but you can define a constructor with default argument values that simulate multiple definitions. With default multiple, uh, with default argument values that simulate multiple definitions. For example, for example, assume that we have a class which is called bank account. Okay, I can define uh, uh, underscore underscore. You know, uh, well, it, this should be. In it, sir. Uh, underscore underscore in it, and then self. And then I can actually specify something like this, you know, initial balance equals 0 0.0. Initial balance equals 0, 0. Now, when I when I call this uh, class, when I call this class, if no value is passed to the constructor when a bank account object is created, what will be stored in the underscore balance? The value of the initial balance, which we assign to zero. Which we assign to zero by default, if we call it like this. Okay, if we call it like this, without any, without any argument. Right. What if I call it uh, with an argument? Well. If I call it with an argument, then it will take the value of the argument that I call. So I can I can say Joe's account equal bank account, and then between brackets I will put, for example, one thousand. So self dot underscore balance in that case will not take the default value, which is zero. It will take the value that you basically assigned inside the argument uh, 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 inside the argument. Okay, right. 
So this is basically the syntax of the constructors, right? So you can either, either define the constructor uh, with only self, and then you can do whatever you want to do inside the, uh, uh, the constructor method. It's, it's, it's basically a method, right? Or uh, you can also provide uh, arguments with default values. So if you, provi if you provide an argument, uh, you, you will take the value in that argument. If you don't provide the argument, you will take the default, you will take the default value. Okay, so this is kind of the general uh, form of the uh, of the constructor. And here I have only one argument. صح? طيب, uh, can I have two arguments, three arguments, four arguments? Yes, you can have as many arguments as you want. Okay, you can have as many arguments as you want. Doctor. Nam. So in the arg second argument, we actually do an assignment uh, for the variable here. Uh, yes. Uh, we, we, we do an assignment of the variable, quote unquote, by default. What does that mean? So if I call bank account with open bracket, closed bracket, nothing in between, I will take this value, the is zero. If I call bank account and then between the brackets, I put 1000, then I will not take the zero. I will take the 1000. Wada? Come on. Come on. Okay. So the first parameter variable of every constructor, you know, uh, must be self. Well, it's, it's uh, this is not really, you know, um, uh, it's, it, it must be something that will refer to, you know, the current object, basically. So you will be using the dot with it, right? But as I said, the convention is to use self. Self is not a keyword. Uh, when, the, when the constructor is invoked uh, to construct a new object, the self parameter variable is set to the object that is being initialized. That is being that is being initialized. So this basically refers to the object being to the object being initialized. So if I do register equal cash register after the constructor ends, this is a reference to the newly created object with underscore item count equal zero and underscore total price equal zero. So so when I when I call this, what will happen? An ob, uh, an instance of the of the class will be created. And then the method uh, underscore underscore init underscore underscore will be called. The method will be called, and uh, the body of that method will be executed. Right. So, so this is basically the object reference, right? After the constructor ends, this is a reference to the newly created object register. Now, with register, now I can call the public interface of cache register. Now I can call the public interface. I can call register.addItem. Uh, I can call register.getTotal. I can uh, call register.getCount. Uh, I, can, I can call whatever method is in my uh, uh, class. Okay? Uh, of course, instance method. Instance method. What is, the Is that clear? Yes. So, uh, so we use instance variables, you know, inside uh, methods of the class. Similar to the constructor, all other instance methods must include the self parameter. Must include the self parameter, because once you include the self parameter, then you are telling uh, 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 you are telling the uh, class that this is an instance method. That this is an instance method. You must specify the self implicit parameter when using instance variables inside inside the class. So you, you need to say self dot, uh, you know, whatever, right? So this is basically uh, how we define um, a method. So you have the method name, you have self, and then you can have a list of parameters, right? So for example, you can say define add item and then self price. So, so what will this do? Well, this should add the number of items or increment the number of items, you know, by one. And uh, it should, you know, add the price to the current total. So that's why we have here self dot underscore item count equals self dot underscore item count plus one. And then self dot underscore total price equals self dot underscore total price plus five. OK. Any question on how we uh, uh, develop uh, instance methods? Uh, Doctor. No. 
الحين مثلا في الاد ايتم هذه هذا مثلا عندنا اوبجكت بسوي له دوت اد ايتم اوكي يس وراح تعطينا كاونت وتعطينا البرايس طيب ما تعطينا ما تعطينا البر... انت بتعطيها البرايس او ذا ميثود ويل اد ذا برايس تو ذا توتال برايس اوف ذات اوبجكت اند ويل اد 1 تو ذا ايتم كاونت اوف ذات اوبجكت اوكي ذن اف وي ونت تو برنت ذا كاونت How do we access uh, access the count here? The value who can of the count? answer? Who can answer him? How can we access? Uh, if I want to print the count. Uh, uh, based on the previous example, we can just say register dot uh, count. Get that. Get you count. Know, Sorry, get count. You so you need to to provide an, another instance method called get count. Will uh, what will be the body of that method? Return return self. Self or self dot underscore item count. Self dot underscore item count. Fahilkum. Return self dot underscore item. Okay. So to uh, to get any value of the instance variables, we should use the instance method. We should use an instance method. Yes. Yeah, clear. Okay. Fine. So as with constructor, every method must include the special self parameter variable and it must be listed first. Uh, when a method is called, a reference to the object on which the method was invoked, which is the register one, is automatically passed to the self, to the self parameter, right? So when you say register one dot add item 2.95, well, it will uh, basically register one, this reference will, will, will be here and the 2.95 will be here. Okay, so if register two dot add item is called, then the the, the the reference to register two will be the self, and the whatever you put in the price will be will be the the price. Okay, so this is the complete example for the uh, register uh, uh, for the cash register. Uh, uh, this is basically the uh, constructor. Uh, so you have self dot item count. And you have self dot total price uh, dot underscore total price. This is add item. Um, uh, so uh, self dot uh, underscore item count plus one. Self dot underscore total price plus plus price. And you can see here um, uh, uh, we are using the underscore uh, to in to indicate that this is an instance variable and uh, in the naming convention, we are using, we are still using the, the naming convention of variables. Uh, starts with a small letter. If it's more than one word, we capitalize each, we capitalize each word. Okay. So, uh, get total, return self dot underscore total price, get count, return self dot underscore item count, right? Uh, clear, self dot item count underscore item count equal zero, self dot underscore total price equal, equal zero. So if I run this, now I have defined my class uh, cash register. My cash register is, is defined. Now I can use the cash register, right? So register one equal cash register. I can add item 1.95, add item 0.95, add item 2.50, and then I can print get count. Now what, did we, what would we expect when we print get count? Well, I made three calls, so I'm adding three items, right? I'm adding three items. And what about the total? Well, we need to sum these values, right? We need to sum these values. So if I run this, you will see that, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the count, the number of items uh, that were read uh, by this instance, uh, uh, register one is a three, and the total was actually 5.40. Uh, doctor? No. Define get total. When humble. The return here. So we return the thing موجود في function ثانية صح؟ لا. هذا ما موجود في function ثانية. هذا موجود. هذا self هذا هذا جوا ال object. The self هذا خلاص. أنا ل when I call when I call dot get total أو when I call dot get total. Uh, with the register one, I know that I am in register one, 
وام اكسسنج الاندر سكور توتال برايس تبع الريجستر 1 اه اوكي واضح So, uh, دكتور بس no. للسلايد uh, الثاني ليش ما سوينا انيت uh, هنا؟ اه uh, مين يجاوبه؟ ليش ما سوينا انيت هنا؟ مين يجاوبه؟ موجود هو موجود في الديفينيشن على اليسار موجود في الديفينيشن على اليسار بس على اليمين ما يحتاج هي ما يحتاج ليش ما يحتاج؟ قول له ليش ما يحتاج؟ خلاص لما نسوي الاوبجكت نسوي له assignment فوق بيصير الانشايز ايوه ترى موجود بلاين 7 موجود بلاين 7 when i created the cash register object register 1 from the cash register class ترى by default راح يروح لل underscore underscore init وراح ينفذ اه تمام تمام شكرا وضحت؟ واضح تمام شكرا ايوه طيب يا شباب So with this, we are done with uh, uh, we are done with the classes, and we are done with uh, Python, and uh, inshallah next week uh, we will start with um, uh, we, with our introduction to uh, yet another programming language called C, and I will always uh, tell tell my students that when you learn C, uh, you will really appreciate Python. Okay. Uh, من باب يعني بتعرف آه آه الخير لما يو نو وين يو سي الشر ها يو يو ابريشيت يو ابريشيت وات يو هاف ليرند يعطيك العافيه ومنت علينا الله يعافيك يلا نراكم على خير يا شباب سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك السلام عليكم يعطيك العافيه دكتور